want to greet those who are viewing us through Facebook Live. We want to welcome you to the West Missionary Baptist Church uh, in the city of Gary. We're so grateful uh, for those who are viewing us today who have been with us uh, during this journey that the Lord has brought us all through up to where we are today. And we certainly give praises to our God. We again greet our church family. And we're so glad for them being here today to join us in this worship experience. And so we pray that whatever takes place today uh, will certainly be an uplifting experience for you. It would be encouragement for you, as they say, edification. And so, so we pray that our coming together will certainly be worth our while. And I just believe that any time we gather in the house of the Lord, His presence will assure us that we can be touched by him. Amen. So we open this morning for a very, uh, with a very familiar passage of scripture, Psalm 100. Uh, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God, it is he that has made us and not we ourselves. We are the people of his pastor and the sheep of his pastor. Enter to his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. Yes, he is. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, he is. Amen. Yes, Thank God for his word. All right, this time we're going to go ahead with this opening selection from the voice of the pilgrimage. So let's receive them as they go.
the selection today because I pray there are some witnesses uh, who know that Jesus wins. Yes, he will. 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 Yes, and let's trust him because God is a good fighter. He ain't never lost a battle. Amen. He, he's the undisputed. Heavyweight champion. If you want to say that. Of the universe. And so we thank the God we serve that we can certainly get praises about him and know that he is that type of God we serve. Because I pray that we have let him fight many of our battles. Amen. I know the human part of us want to do it ourselves. But y'all know we can add more to it. Uh, but God can take care of it and it's settled. And so, so we praise the Lord. Thank you voices and musicians uh, for that opening selection. Although that, as they say, would be considered somewhat old. But I thank God for the message and the song. Amen. Jesus will. Uh, because we are to believe and trust that he has done it in our own lives. Someplace, somehow, uh, some way, he can. And so we praise him and we thank God uh, right now for, you know, just that reminder. Because that's all that song I feel served as a purpose to remind us of the possibility of the God we serve yeah. and the Savior who is ours. Yeah. Amen. And I pray you know he is your Savior. Yeah. Listen, the Lord you. don't mind you claiming ownership of him. He did already claim ownership of us. Yeah. Amen. Because I like Psalm 24, verse 1 says, The earth is the Lord's, the fullness of the world. But here's the part, and they that dwell, you know, I a part of him too. And so so we got to understand uh, God is the one who owns everything and everybody. Yes, sir. Even if they don't even recognize him as being God. Yeah. Amen. So we want to uh, certainly praise God for the week uh, that he again has got all of us through some way, yeah. somehow, yeah. some situation. Yeah. You know, he let us get out of uh, yeah. some sickness he yeah. healed us from. Some problem he solved, some comfort he gave. Uh, I could go on, you know, because nothing when you talk about God ever runs out. That's uh, right. He's God is always alive. He's never sleeping nor slumbering. But God is someone we can call on any time uh, of the day or the night. Uh, that's just how aware he is. And certainly we just want to praise him. But we want to uh just uh, stay prayerful for our world and certainly for what's going on around us. Uh, we just constantly are uh, hearing about these senseless shootings. You know, and, and it's almost just wearing us out. Uh, along with the other things that we are still dealing with. And, and so we just have to look to the heels from what's coming by help. And we need to understand that God is a present help. Uh, even in these situations, because our hearts go out, you know, to uh, the family of the 13-year-old uh, over there in Chicago, uh, because that was senseless, especially seeing the video. Uh, he did have a gun, but he dropped the gun, but then he started to raise his hands, and the cop still shot. So, so you know, it's just uh, really disturbing. Uh, of these things that are going on, even down in Indianapolis uh, at that FedEx facility, uh, a young man, 19 year old, walked in there and he just immediately, uh, as we understand, just started shooting. And so there were eight people uh, whose lives were taken. And, and you know, I could go on because it just so much, I think early this morning, saw something that just recently happened. And so, so it's, this is a time that, brothers and sisters, we have to look to God and believe that God is our help. Yes, he is. And, and this is why we pray that he will cover us, yeah. that he will protect us, that he will watch over us, because we don't know what job or place that we may be at with someone that uh, would just want to come 
they just start, you know, going off shooting. And, and so we have an issue, I know, in our country with guns. Uh, and, and as they want to say, guns don't kill people, but people are the ones uh, who use guns. But, but the fact remains uh, that they are the source in which some lives are being taken from us today. And so we pray our government can kind of do something. Uh, and I know there's always a fight when we get on this subject about gun control. Sure, we believe uh, that you have a right to bear arms, but you don't need to bear no AK-47. That, you don't need to bear no assault weapon unless you are in the military. That's, that's really what they were designed for. Uh, but, but some just love guns. But, but you know, you don't hunt no deer with no brother Reed to tell you that. Amen. Now, you, you've been a choke preacher up. And so, so, so what, you know, so we have this issue that we are still confronting with, and you got left and right sides, as they want to say, fighting, you know, about how much right we should have in that matter. But we just praying, brothers and sisters, that something will uh, happen in our time, uh, especially uh, for the generations that are following us, that, you know, they don't have to keep dealing with these problems. But the unfortunate thing uh, scripture does tell us in the last days, we will uh, have perilous times, and so some things we just can't undo or change, according to the word. But uh, today we want to get ready for our prayer at this moment. Uh, some of the things that I just mentioned we want to pray about, but there are some individuals that we want to mention today. We want to keep uh, Sister Mary Bird's song in our prayers. Uh, Sister Seneca Johnson, uh, Brother Norman Lomax, and his mother as well. And we want to just keep all sick, yeah. all shut in, all hospitalized in our prayers. Uh, because we know we are still confronted with this uh, coronavirus. Uh, and now we deal with what they call variants uh, that have now come along to uh, cause a spike in some places. But we pray that we continue to maintain our course to stay safe Amen. And, and get back, you know, get your shot uh, right. if you can. Uh, don't be afraid of this because there's too much noise uh, that is going around about these shots. Yeah. And, and we have to understand that these things are preventative. Uh, help keep your immune system resistant from serious illness. Uh, now, there's a possibility you could get it again, but the fact is, if you do, it won't be, as they say, as serious. Amen. It's just like the flu. If I make it plain, you get a flu shot, don't mean that you ain't still going to get the flu. But you get that shot to help, that's right, help build up your immunity. And so, so we just have to try to do this and, and just Stay off the, amen, social media. Yeah. All these people That's just it. telling you you shouldn't. Yeah. We got these conspirators, you know, they want to spread all of this stuff. And, yeah. and, and those of us y'all can trust, at least listen to us. <laughs> amen. Right. Amen. amen. I'm, I'm not going to try to tell nobody and leave nobody wrong. Because I done, I done done what I had to do. Right. And I did it purposely to make sure that I, I, I can speak about it. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So, so I pray that we reach in somebody in this manner and, and let us, as certainly as an African-American people, understand we are not the only one getting shots. That's right. And, and why do I say that? Because I think because of our history of the past, uh, especially with Tuskegee and all of that, uh, we think that uh, we don't want one getting a shot, and everybody in the world is getting a shot. Amen. It ain't just black people, it's white people, amen. it's brown people, and amen, Asian, and so go, you go on. So this ain't just been reserved for us. And so, so that's why I'm speaking, it's because some are listening to all that noise. That's all I'm calling it, is noise. That's all it is. Uh, and, and if we want to be woke, as the term saying, let's be woke to the truth. Amen. Something that's, that we know is, is going to be uh, 
life saving. And so, so at this time, we're ready. We're going to get ready to uh, pray at this point. But if you're ready, let us bow. Father God, we come this morning. We first give thanks to you, yes. oh God, for this thank day. You. Yes, Lord. Thank, thank you, Lord, you. for being alive. We thank you, Lord, thank for you, how you let us sleep last night. Yes. And watched over us, oh God, all night long. And you know, allowed us to rise this morning to another day. And we just thank you right thank now. You. Thank you. Oh God, we pray as we come together, Lord. We come, certainly, Lord, to just praise you this day. We come to lift up your holy name. We come to worship you. We come, oh God, just to be together in fellowship and certainly in your spirit. And so, God, we pray that you will just remember us today. God, not only us, we pray for all the body of Christ who have assembled and still are assembling. We pray, oh God, that you will be with them today, that they be able to gather in safety and comfort. Not in fear, oh God, knowing that you did not give us that spirit, but you gave us love, power, and a sound mind. And so God, just help us this day. Now what we pray for these that we have certainly mentioned today, those of our family who are sick today. Oh Lord, we pray, oh Lord, for Brother James Jones today. We pray, oh Lord, even for those that we have mentioned, oh God, you know everyone by name. And Lord, we're lifting them up before you this day that you will certainly bless right now. Oh God, remember Seneca today. Continue, Lord, to touch her. And Lord, remove that pain that she's enduring, oh God, and do it right now in the name of Jesus. And, and even Norman Lomax today, Lord, we pray for him that you will touch him, Lord, that you will let him get better, get well. And not only him, remember his mother, Lord, right now. Take care of her, Lord, even in her advancing. Jesus. Then, Lord, we pray for Sister Mary Mary's song today, that you will certainly touch her body, certainly where she's racking in pain. We pray, God, that you will take it away and let her get better, get strong, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And then, Lord, we pray for everyone today that is hospitalized, everyone who may be sick and shut in, oh Lord, whatever they might be going through physically, we pray for them in the name of Jesus. Lord, if we don't know them by name, it's good to know that we can say you know them, oh God, and you are aware of them, and you know how they have called on your name. And so, God, we pray in your name, oh God, that you will don't let their cries go unheard, but move right now in their lives, and let them know it's going to be all right. Let them know that you are going to help them to get well. Let them know, Lord, that you're going to take away the pain that they are afflicted with. So, do it right now in the precious name of Jesus. Now, Lord, we pray, Lord, for our times that we are in. Lord, so much death and destruction is going on around us. So much corruption, Lord, even among those that we trust, Lord. We pray right now for these families who are in grief right now. Give them comfort, oh God. Let them experience your peace. Your peace is able to guard their minds and keep them in Christ Jesus. So God, do it right now in the precious name of Jesus. Then, Lord, we pray, Lord, for these times, Lord, where there's so many senseless shootings that are going on. Lives are being taken, oh God. And we pray, oh God, that some of these things can get under control because we know you are the one who's able to do it. And Lord, all we got to do is seek your face. Turn from our wicked ways and humble ourselves unto you. And then, Lord, we can hear from heaven. And then, Lord, you can forgive our sins and heal our land. And so, God, do it right now in the precious name of Jesus. Lord, we pray today for our families and for our friends, for our loved ones, Lord, for our companions, for our children today. We pray, God, that you will help us, Lord, in a time like this, that you will let us, oh God, if we got family situations, solve those problems, oh God, reconcile those relationships. Oh God, forgive us of our sins and help us, oh God, in a time like this, when time is so precious, when life is so short, help us to realize, oh God, that it's time out, Lord, for us, Lord, not to carry on the way that we do, oh God, but let us know how we need to come together this day. 
Now, Lord, I pray, Lord, for the Gunn family today. Bless them, oh God, Sister Gunn and her family, Lord. Her nephew, Lord, whose life is no longer here. But they need your help. They need your comfort. They need your strength. They need you, Lord, to help them through this time of sorrow. Help them to know that you're able, Lord. Help them to know you are present help. Help them know you are God of all comfort. So God, do it right now in the precious name of Jesus. Now, Lord, look in here today. Look in on us, oh God, because we all need you in some way. Lord, sometimes we're up. Sometimes we're down. Sometimes we're troubled, Lord. Sometimes we don't know which way to turn. But it's good to know we have a constant presence. It's good to know we have a constant companion. It's good to know we got somebody that we can call on in our time of trouble. So we call on you, Lord, to help us right now. To let us know, Lord, we can make it. To let us know that we're going to overcome it. To let us know we're going to get through it. Help right now. Do it right now in the name of Jesus. And, Lord, when you do it, let us know how to give you praise. Because you are worthy, Lord, of what you do. You are worthy, Lord, of the miracle you perform. You are worthy, Lord, of the blessings you give. You are worthy, Lord, because you've been so good. So we thank you right now in the name of Jesus. Now, Lord, as we come to the close of our prayer, we pray right now that you will continue to bless us all. You remember those who are watching us live during this service. We pray for them, oh God, right now. That you will help them, touch them. Oh Lord, whatever they need, provide for them. And then most of all, Lord, we just thank you for knowing that we can call on your name. So God, if there's anything that we have failed to ask right now, please, so Lord, don't fail to grant it. Because in Jesus' name we pray. We thank God and Amen. 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 God bless you. We do want to thank God for our prayer this morning, and I do pray that we have been encouraged as a result of it. Amen. God bless you. All right, uh, just an announcement. I'm going to do this uh, right now. Uh, on next Sunday, we will have our scholarship recognition day, and that's for our graduates. We have two graduates this year. Amen. Things were done a little differently last year, but the same result was uh, able to be uh, accomplished. Uh, last year, we had a parade for the uh, seniors that graduated, uh, and it was a wonderful uh, expression, uh, recognition that was done for them, because last year around this time, we could not assemble like this. And, and I say that because this is proof of what God has done. Yeah, how far he has brought us. Oh, yeah. How he has helped us yeah. to be able to prepare ourselves in a yeah. time like this where we have found a way to assemble safely. Yeah. And so, so I'm glad that uh, on next Sunday we can have a service for them during our 11 o'clock hour. Yeah. And, and we have two seniors, as I say, that is Darnell Johnson III. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Shy guy, but uh, uh, hey man, he didn't even raise his head up when I said it. <laughs> hey man, and the other one is Courtney Shatrick, uh, who uh, is the second uh, senior uh, for the class of 2021. Hey man, so we praise God for them, and we do have one college graduate that's uh, going to be recognized, uh, and that's uh, Sister Sydney Perry. Amen. Amen. So we're very proud uh, of her accomplishments as well. But but we will have the guest preacher, uh, Reverend Andre McGee, who is the pastor of the Greater St. John Missionary Baptist Church in South Bend, Indiana. So, so he will be here with us on next Sunday, and we look forward to hearing from him. We look forward to honoring uh, our seniors, and, and we just pray you can join us on next Sunday. Amen. Amen. God bless you. And then one card also while I'm here. It says, bless you for the little things you do in thoughtful ways. Bless you for the way you brighten up so many days. Bless you for your giving heart, as kind as it can be. 
Bless you in a thousand ways for truly blessing me. From the Moore Cooley family to the entire Pimarest family, we are eternally grateful for all you've done in our hour of mourning. We love and appreciate you and will never forget the love you showed. Thank you. And that is from, again, uh, the Cooley and Moore family. Amen. Amen. All right. God's best to you. Christ's blessings to you. Philippians, uh, Phil, Phil, uh, Philemon, excuse me, uh, one and three, the message Bible. All right. All right. But we thank you, uh, Sister Cooley, Sister Moore. And on Monday, we did uh, do the service uh, for Booker T. Moore, uh, who was the husband of Sister Nadine Moore. And so we, we thank God for being able to be a blessing to them. All right. So at this time, uh, that is uh, the announcements that we just wanted to observe. We're going to get ready for another song, and then we'll be back before you show them.
in a corporate setting like this that we take this time to come together to collectively worship the same God. Amen. And, and, and guess what? He can recognize every one of us by our praise that we give to him, even by your bowing of your head, your patting of your feet, your clapping of your hands. God, listen, is able to know who it is. Because if he didn't, he wouldn't be the great God that he is. And, and I told you, God is great and greatly to be praised. Amen. So we, so we want to thank the Lord right now for where he has moved us to be. And we thank him for your faces and certainly for how blessed you look today. Amen. 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 Y'all don't mind me saying that about you. Amen. I, I just look at you and you look blessed. Amen. 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 You, you look blessed. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. you look blessed because yes. this is how good God has yes. been yes. to yes. you. Yes. Amen. Yes. And, and, and just put it this way, how good he's been to me. Yes. Amen. Somebody, somebody yes. ought to grab that right there. Yes. Yes, He's been good to yes, you. Yes, yes, yes. So, so we thank him yes, right now for where we yes, are. And yes. certainly this is yes, a good place. Amen. To arrive yes, to. Thank you, Father. Amen. Amen. Thank I you, tell Father. you, any preacher uh, yes, that's worth they saw, as we say, uh, just want to be able to arrive where thank there's God. been some good singing that has proceeded where he has to do. Just really kind of set the tone for preaching. Amen. So we're going to look uh, to the word today from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17. We'll look at two verses there, verse 7 and 8. Jeremiah, the 17th chapter, verse 7 and 8. Blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord and whose hope the Lord is. For he shall be as a tree planted by the waters, yes. and that spread it out her roots by the river, and shall not see when he cometh, but her leaves shall be green, yes. and shall not be careful in the year of drought, yes. neither shall cease from yielding fruit. Yes. And today, I would just like to uh, talk to you from this subject today, for those who trust in the Lord. Amen. Amen. This is what we want to uh, share today for those who trust in the Lord. Yes. Father God, we come now and we do pray that you will give us power that we always seek from you. Yes, Lord. Oh, Lord, that we have the ability to stand today yes, and proclaim your word. Yes, Use us, Lord, as our prayer. Yes, that the ears of those who hear the word will be blessed. Yes, and convinced, and that some soul will be persuaded. Yes, so God bless us is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you. We certainly stand today uh, with a word I feel that is certainly uh, good for us. Because I don't think we ever arrive where we shouldn't hear anything about trusting in the Lord. Because I believe that the reason we are where we are yeah. in this present age is because somebody yeah. learned to trust in the Lord. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, and, right. and, and it's not by accident no. that uh, we share this today because I believe the Lord know we needed to hear this type of message. Yes, yes. Certainly with what's going on today what we are still confronting with, what we are still observing and hearing, uh, it is enough to almost shake your trust. It is, it's almost enough even to make a believer want to question, amen, how much can I trust God? Yeah. And so we look at this word today because it is Jeremiah uh, this Old Testament prophet. Some would like to label him as a weeping prophet. Uh, and the only reason he was as such because 
uh, he weeped over the sins of his people. Yeah. And I get why he would weep because he realized that God was not pleased no, sure. with how his people had forgotten him, with how his people had turned their backs from him, how his people had even forgot his goodness that he had performed in their lives. Yeah. And so I don't speak anything that should sound old or, as they said, should sound new, but it is something that even right now, we who are the people of God, at some point have the tendency to forget what God has done. And the reason that that temptation may arise in our life or that activity that may come in our life is because we get complacent. Amen. Let God keep blessing you. Yeah. Let him keep blessing you. Let him, let, let him keep running over blessings and overflowing in your life. And if you're not careful, you might end up forgetting from whose hand it came from. And, 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 I, and I just say this today because believers can do that. Amen. The track record of believers is such because if we go back and we always like to talk about Israel and their mistakes, but what about today with the church? We have the same tendency to forget but, but, but I am glad today as we look at this text, we see some words that are helpful for life. Yeah. Yes, they are. Because uh, the subject I said, for those who trust in the Lord, that is saying that I'm talking to a group of people. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Because I'm under the impression, and this is not to attack anybody, that everybody who say they uh, of God don't really trust him. Because there's some who only trust him for a man convenience. There's only some who trust him when they think they need him. But I'm talking to those who can trust God through it all. Amen. That they, they learn how to depend on the Lord when I'm up and when I'm down. So listen, up is a dangerous yes. position. Yes. And let me just pause there because uh, it's dangerous because as long as everything is going right, as long yes. as everything is going good, as yes. long as the blessings yes. just keep falling down, yes. I just have, listen, no complaints. Right. I, 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 I even get so caught up in my ups. Yes. That, that I all of a sudden forget that it was God yeah. that put me in that position. That's right. That's right. So I'm talking for those who trust in the Lord because listen to what he says. He says, bless is the man, and that is not just really talking to just one gender, but it's really talking to anybody that trusted in the Lord. And whose hope the Lord is. Yeah, now, 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 he arrives at this in verse 7 because if you look, go back to verse 5 and 6, there is a comparison here. Verse 5 talks about those who trust in themselves and in man. Yeah. And y'all know that ain't going too far. Okay. Because verse 6 will tell you very quickly about what they're like. They're like a heat. As he says, they're in the desert talking about a little screw, a little plant. Some like say a little juniper tree, but he said that's what you like if, if you want to be ones who trust in flesh and your own strength. But but I'm talking to those who trust in the Lord. Yeah. Now now Jeremiah brought this out because he wanted us to know there's a difference between trusting in man and trusting in God. I don't think y'all heard that for the first time today, have you? I think most of us realize that. Our real trust ought to be in God. Sometimes we're so people focused. Yeah, that's all we see is them and not God. And, and when we don't see God, we have this tendency to forget that God's been there like he said. Amen. I, I know it's hard when, when God becomes silent because I haven't been there before. I don't know who else has, but yeah. when God, it seems like he's not saying anything, it seems like he's not there. 
He yeah. comes along and reminds me that he was there. The only reason that you're doing what you're doing, you're being held up like you're held up, is because of an unseen presence that you didn't recognize. And so, so we got to look at what Jeremiah says today and see how it applies to us. Is there anybody in here are those who trust in the Lord? Yeah. Now, 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 Jeremiah says this because he was trying to get the attention of his own people. Yeah. They had forgotten God. They were in the predicament they were in because of rejection of God. And do anybody know if you reject God, there are consequences Say it, to face? Say that now. Yeah. 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 And why shouldn't we face them? Say that. When he's been so good to us. Yeah. Not just yesterday, but right now. I, yeah. I can get happy over yesterday, yeah. but I need to have some right now. Yeah. That I recognize that God is doing something. And, yes. and so, so Jeremiah starts out by letting us understand how happy are those. That's what the word bless implies. Uh, is that person that trusted in the Lord because they realized that their hope, you know, is in the Lord. He's their hope. And that word hope means confidence in the text. That yes, you can be confident in the Lord your God. And, and, and I know we have that passage that we love to read, quote, 1 John 5, verse 14 and 15, yeah. this is the confidence that we have in him. Yeah. And, and, and that's the hope that we have in him. Yeah. Yeah. That if we ask what anything according to his will, he heareth us. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, so we are inclined to know, brothers and sisters, that our God can be trusted. Yeah. Yeah. But, but, but then, listen, as we look at this, first of all, this is what we see. They will be like a tree. That's the first thing that he does uh, imply here when we get to those who trust in the Lord. They are going to be like a tree. Mm -hmm. And why would he use a tree as our example? Well, if you have lived long enough, trees are strong. Amen. Creations by God. Mm -hmm. Amen. They, they take root. And if their root takes good ground and, and they, listen, are strong enough, they can last for years. Yeah. Trees gonna live, outlive us. Yeah. Fact some have. No, the ones who see dying have already lived, I guess, their time. But the fact is, he uses a tree as the first thing for those who trust in the Lord. They just like a tree. And, and, and that ain't the meaning. No, no. He uses that because it's like in Psalms first in the first Psalms where it says in verse three, you know, about a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth its fruit in its season. It's, it's, listen, leaves ain't gonna wither, but whatsoever it doing it's gonna prosper. That's what he's talking about being like a tree. For those of us who trust in the Lord, we're gonna be just like that tree. We've been planted. Amen. It says in the text, by the waters. And why the water? The waters give nourishment to the tree. You know, you done got your roots, as it says, by the river. Right there, verse 8. And, 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 and as a result of this, you done got a good foundation. You're now standing strong because of what you have attached yourself to. Now, if I make it even more plain, it's just like us. We can be like that tree. And the reason yeah. because we have got ourselves rooted yeah. in a God who knows how to sustain us. Uh, listen, he knows how to nourish us and he knows how to keep us strong. And yeah. most of yeah. all, I love this, he'll keep us from falling. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. I ain't seen too many trees yes, fall when storms rise. Right. Right. That means that they've been, listen, rooted in some good ground. Now, 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 that's some we know that these storms are strong enough to uproot. Yeah. Amen. But the fact is, he tells us that we need to be like a tree. Yeah. Amen. And, and, and I don't know about you, I'm be like that tree by that water, by that yeah. river that yeah. he implies here that I know where, listen, I'm getting my help from. Yeah. Amen. And, and, and Jesus did say that he is like a river of water. Yeah, and, and he knows how to nourish you. He knows how to give you what you need in order to, to survive. And, and I'm glad that for those who trust in the Lord, 
need to be like a tree. Yeah. Amen. And, and, and that's good that Jeremiah will say this because he's letting us see the difference of trusting in God versus trusting in humankind. Because yes, humankind can't give you this. No. No. Amen. They, they can't sustain you like God can. And, and that's why we need to understand God wants us to learn how to trust him. Yeah. And can I help somebody right now? It takes time to trust God. It takes time to know how to trust God. I didn't, listen, I didn't get saved right away knowing how to trust God. I had to get to know him. I had to get to experience him. I had to get to grow some and know that, listen, I can put all my trust in God. Amen. It took some trial. It took some error because... The tendency was still to trust somebody that looked like me. Amen. And I found out that they couldn't keep my trust. Amen. Because they broke the trust somewhere. But when it comes to God, listen, God will never break that trust. Amen. It's just a sacred trust that God has with his children. And so, aren't you glad he, he tells us to be like a tree? But secondly, he lets us understand this, that when you trust him, and if you're one of those who do, you will not be afraid. On, Listen, how do we find that out? Because look at what verse 8 continue to tell us. It shall not, listen, see that heat that cometh? Yep. Amen. But at least shall be green. And, and, and one thing about what he's saying there, that if you see the heat, you feel the heat, the heat ain't going to make you get troubled. It's not going to make you Amen. Become afraid. Even when storms come in your life. Yeah, yeah. Amen. When you trust God, you won't have to be afraid. No, right. Listen, the disciples didn't realize that Jesus being on board was enough for them just to be at peace. Yeah. But y'all know that story that they got trouble when the storm rose. Yeah. When the winds even blew. Right. That somebody said, let's go wake up Jesus. <laughs> Amen. And then let's say to him, Master, carest thou not that we perish? Of course he cares, brothers and sisters, but if you trust him, you're going to have, you don't have to worry about no storms. Because y'all know what Jesus immediately did. He says, peace be still. Listen, the waves cease and the wind stopped blowing because the master of the sea spoke to creation at and brothers and sisters, I want to let you know that when you trust in the Lord, you don't have to be afraid. That's Not right. saying that fear won't come. Oh, yes, it will. Yeah. The tendency to be afraid is going to rise. But quickly think about this. Who do I trust? Yeah. Amen. Amen. Do I trust God to know that God will take care of me? Yeah. Amen. And, and if I trust him, I don't have to be afraid. Right. Amen. Because I got to remember what he did not give me. Yeah. Amen. Somebody, y'all yeah. already know. Yeah. yeah, the spirit of fear. Yeah. But I like to say he gave us a trifecta. Yes. Yeah. He gave us love, power, and a sound mind. And, and three always can be one. Yeah. Amen. Especially as one is the negative. Amen. Because I'm just glad, brothers and sisters, that when I see this today, for those who trust in the Lord, don't never have to be afraid. You don't know, because let a little heat, if it want to say, uh, come on you. But God got some protection. He got to cover on you that that heat ain't going to burn you. Amen. That's the Hebrew boys. Amen. I know none of us want to go through a fiery furnace. But those brothers had enough faith and trust in the Lord yeah. to the point of saying, we're not going to bow down. That's right. For the God we serve is able yes, to deliver us yes. from this fire. And then they had that and say, and he will deliver us. Yeah. Amen. That's when you're not afraid. That's when you know you can trust in the Lord when you don't let the circumstances rule your thinking. That's right. Because your faith is convinced that God will yes, take care of you. Yes, and I'm just talking to for those who trust in the Lord. I, I hope the house is filled with some who are in that category. Yeah. For those who trust in the Lord. Because 
God want to let you know you need to be like a tree. You need to also not be afraid because even though terror may come in your life, you need to know there's somebody who's over that terror. He's able to take terror away from you. He's able to let terror be in your midst and you not be moved. Amen. I know somebody may have been there because you done confronted fear, but it did not shake you. It did not let you forget that I trust somebody, listen, who has all power in his hands. Listen, he got power in his word to speak, and he'll make things behave. Uh, and so I'm glad, amen, that Jeremiah is reminding us today. But thirdly, this is another point we want to put. They will not worry. And, and where do we see that in the text? Let me listen to how verse 8 ends. And shall not be careful. Careful, amen, means anxious in the year of drought. Neither shall, listen, they cease from yielding fruit. You think that God is going to let his children, amen, be in a position where they got to worry about this and that. Amen. You got seasons in your life. That's right. And if you ain't lived long enough, keep on living. That's right. yeah. You're going to have seasons. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. I'm putting, I'm making it plural. You're going to have seasons yes, of prosperity yes. and seasons of drought. Yes. But what are you going to do when the drought yes. presents itself? Yes. Are you going to trust God? Yes. Amen. To take care of you. Yes. Amen. I'm talking for those who trust in the Lord because yes. you ain't going to worry about this and that. That's right. You're going to realize that the God you serve is an able God. Yes, he is. And yes. God knows how to provide all yes, he do. that you need. Yes, he do. Yes. Thank God for Paul that yes. when he told the Philippians for my God yes. shall supply all, all your needs. Yes. Amen. According to his riches and glory. And that's by yes. Christ Jesus. And, yes. and I'm so glad that when I find myself wondering and worrying about this and that, God wants me to learn how to still trust him. Yes. Listen, I'm the same God that knows how to give and take away, but I don't want to just end it there, but he knows how to give again. Yes, he does. Amen. That's my emphasis because I believe that the same God that will give can take away, but he also give again. And listen, when you give again, it's more than you had before. Yes, Amen. And you got to understand, brothers and sisters, yes. this life is not always yes. going to be easy. That's right. That's right. This is going to be a life of ups and downs, yes. trials and tribulations, yes. victories and defeats, yes. uh, yeah. disappointments and enjoyment. But yes. through it all, you need to understand you need to live on both sides. That's uh, right. Because that's when you learn how to be content. Yes. Listen, whatever state you find yourself in, uh, you can learn how to still trust God. Uh, yeah. I wonder in the house today, uh, is there anybody here that know how to trust yeah. you uh, in any condition yeah. uh, that you yeah. find yourself yeah. in? Uh, yes, we've been going yeah. through uh, a difficult time yeah. in the history of mankind. Yeah. Uh, but through it all, I see God. Uh, yeah. And the reason that I see yeah. God uh, yeah. is because I learned how yeah. to trust in yeah. Him. Uh, I can't explain it up. How a God we serve up has been so good up. Has been so able up. Has been so convincing up. Has made a way up when we could not explain it up. How do you explain this up? We're better up now up than we were before the virus up. Y'all didn't hear me up. But let me say it again up. We're better now up than before the virus. Yeah. Uh, if you don't believe it, yeah. uh, go back and look uh, at how you were uh, yeah. before the virus. Yeah. Uh, you had a little, uh, but God gave you a little more. Uh, yeah. Amen. He blessed you uh, to have more uh, in the midst uh, of a virus. Uh, and the reason why uh, you were one of those uh, who trusted in the Lord. Uh, I wish I had a witness. Uh, Somebody today uh, understand uh, there's a value uh, in trusting in the Lord. Uh, listen, uh, you need to trust him uh, 
when you cannot trace him. Uh, you need to trust him uh, when you may not answer. Uh, and I got a witness uh, for those uh, who trust in the Lord. Uh, you ought to be a witness uh, to the glory of God. Uh, you ought to be a witness uh, to the promises of God. Uh, you ought to be a witness uh, to the provisions uh, of God. Uh, well, uh, I thought you ought to know. Uh, you, uh, if you're one of those uh, who trusted in the Lord, uh, you got a reason uh, to shout hallelujah. Uh, you got a reason uh, to lift up holy hands. Uh, you got a reason uh, to tell the Lord, uh, thank you uh, for your goodness. Uh, brothers and sisters, uh, I challenge you uh, right now uh, in your present state. Uh, God uh, can be trusted. Uh, are you one of those uh, who's trusted in the Lord? Uh, are you one of those uh, who is convinced of uh, I'm like a tree uh, by the water. Uh, I'm not going to be moved. Uh, I'm not a stranger uh, of the terror uh, that comes around. Uh, listen, I'm not going to worry uh, when things uh, are not going my way. Uh, but I know somebody. Uh, do you know him? Uh, I know somebody uh, who promised uh, he will never leave us. Uh, who promised uh, he will never forsake us. Uh, Anybody here uh, know him? Uh, anybody here uh, tried him? Uh, anybody here uh, is a friend with him? Uh, yes, uh, I'd like to let you know uh, he is uh, somebody uh, you can count on. Uh, he is uh, somebody uh, that won't let you down. Uh, he is uh, somebody uh, that will walk with you uh, along the way. Uh, he is uh, somebody uh, who's close by the side. Uh, do you know him? Uh, have you tried him? Uh, ain't you all right? Uh, yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, thank you, Lord. Uh, you can be trusted. Uh, thank you, Lord. Uh, I can depend on uh, you. Uh, ain't you all right? Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, I'm glad uh, that I know him. Uh, do you know him? Uh, have you tried him? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, he's all right. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, he will uh, take care of you. Uh, what are we doing? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, he will uh, be right there. Uh, what are we doing? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, yes. 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 I am convinced. Yeah. Nobody can do us like him. That's right. That's right. But will you trust him? Yes. Will you be those yes. who trust in yes, Lord? Lord. Yeah. Remember, let's be those yeah. who done learn how to trust him. Yeah. Listen, why you're figuring it out? God done already worked that out. Why are you getting frustrated? Yeah. God's got help on the way. That's right. That's right, Pastor. Why are you about to give up? Yeah. God is showing up. Yes, Have a lot of witness. Yes, I dare yeah. you to trust him. Yes, Lord. Because yeah. he will take care of you. Yes, he will. Yes, I ain't talking about what I heard. Yes. I'm talking about what I know. Yes. Ain't nobody like him. Yes, right. Nobody but the Lord. Nobody but the Lord. Can make me feel like yes. this. He give me joy yeah. when I'm down. Yeah. He wipes the tears yeah. from my eyes. He comforts yeah. me. Yeah. Listen when I'm hurt. Anybody know him? Everybody tried the man and found out that he's all right. And I'm glad the reason for this great trust is because of Jesus Christ. Jesus died, but he rose again. And because he did that, I can trust in the Lord. Anybody here know you can trust him? But my word is keep on trusting him. Keep on. If you got to wait, wait on him. Because I guarantee you, if you wait on the Lord, he will renew your strength. Yes, he will. He will take care of you. 
but you got to trust him with your whole heart. Give it all to God and watch what God will do for you. Amen. So God bless you today. And I say to all of you right now, amen, let's be those who trust in the Lord. That's all he wants. He wants us to be those. Let's be in that group. Amen. That to learn how to trust him no matter what comes. No matter what arises in our life. God can still be trusted. Because he will see you through. Won't he do it? God will be there when you don't know he's there. He's the one keeping us. Amen. Why are we giving up? Oh yes he is. All he wants us to do is learn how to trust him. Amen. And have hope in him knowing that he won't fail us. And I pray nobody has felt that God has failed them. Don't know. He has not failed one of us. God has done everything that he said he would do. And if he ain't done it yet, it's going to still come to pass. When God says so. You got to know how to wait. And when you trust in him, sometimes it takes waiting. In your trust. Amen. Because y'all know he may not long when we want it. Say it somebody. He's always on time. Listen, time ain't no issue with God. That's our problem. God knows how to control time and let it work in your favor. Because he is the great I am. Amen. God bless you. But while we're here, the invitation is going out to someone today. There might be someone that is here today that may have now been convinced that I believe I can trust the Lord. And I want to say to you, yes, you can. Because he gave his son in our behalf. And the son gave his life. And then there was an invitation attached to what the son did. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish. But have everlasting life. And I want to say to somebody right now, it's yours. Amen. If you want it. Jesus said, come unto me all ye that labor. And a heavy laden, I will give you rest. It's not serious the pastor he is about us. He wants us to believe. He wants us to trust him. He wants us to understand that he is the Lord of our lives. He's the Savior. Listen, of keeping us from perish. And if you're out there today, there's somebody that might be watching us today. Amen. If you have heard something that has convinced you, you need to come to Jesus. And we need to do it while we still have time. Amen. Because our tomorrow, amen, is not promised to us. We don't even know what the rest of this day holds. But if you trust the Lord, he will see you through it. Yes, he will. Amen. I'm so impressed by what Solomon tells us in Proverbs chapter 3. Amen. He says in verse 5 and 6, he tells us to trust in the Lord with all thy heart. And lead not to your own understanding, but in all thy ways acknowledge him. Yes. Amen. He shall direct thy path. That's the scripture. That's the word. We can't trust in ourselves. But I don't know if anybody can confess Yourself to let you down. Amen. Yes, Lord. Trust in me has let me down. Amen. But trust in the Lord will never let you down. Amen. God bless you. Is our prayer this day. We see there is none, but there's still plenty of room in our Father's kingdom. Yes, it is. Amen. And we certainly thank God today for this word. We pray that we that are here. Those that may have been viewing us today will be those who trust in the Lord. Amen. Let's be them. Yes, let's be those that Jeremiah was addressing. Amen. Let's have true trust in God. 
Amen. Amen. Don't let's trust him part of the way, but let's oh, what? All the way. Oh, yes. Amen. Let's do it. Yes. And then watch how God watch can turn some things around. Yes. Amen. Y'all know he can do that. Yes. He can turn it around. Yes. Yes, he can. Listen, he can let it work in your favor. Yes, he will. Yeah. If we know how to trust him. Yes. He didn't ask us to see it. He asked us to believe and trust. Yes. Amen. So God bless you. We're going to say farewell to those who have been viewing us today. And we certainly want to thank them always for just being good followers. Amen. I don't know who, as they say, consistently been viewing us, but I get, amen, some reports. Amen. But I thank God for these who have certainly took this time. Uh, to just be in fellowship with us. So we say in closing, the blessings of the Lord be upon them. Amen. Amen. God bless.